Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nishant Kumar. I am doing my undergraduate studies at IIT Delhi in Computer Science Department. And I'm here to present our work, Transdrift Modeling Word Embedding Drift Using Transformer. So basically, word embeddings play a major role in modern day NLP applications. It uh, provides a reusable feature store that can be easily shared across many NLP downstream tasks. These word embeddings are nothing but high quality word vectors trained on huge amount of data. Uh, once we have the embedding, we can easily use the representation for downstream tasks like uh, sentiment analysis, question answering task, and machine translation, and, and so on. But what happens when the data distribution change when uh, on which these word embeddings are trained on? Uh, word meaning uh, and the word meaning shift over time. So words can develop new semantic over time due to change in data. As a result, the meaning and uses of word can change uh, gradually over the time. And this can lead shifts in the relative positioning of the words in the vector space, affecting their uh, semantic association with other words and its similarity with other words. So the evaluation of data distribution and the shifting nuance of uh, word meaning present intriguing challenges in, the no in this domain. As illustrated in figure four, over the time, the word apple prog prog like progressively exhibit closer similarity to the word uh, iPod as compared to the word Walkman. And similarly, terms like music, earphone used to exhibit closer proximity to the word Walkman, but now they are more closer to the word iPod within, within the vector space. So word embedding must be periodically updated over the time and uh, to ensure a robust representation and get a uh, better uh, meaning from, from the word and uh, the current updated context of that word. Studies have been done which show temporal drift word embedding and its negative impact on downstream task performance. Studies like Hamilton et al. and Gug et al. identified temporal drift in word embedding where the uh, semantic relationship between the word changes over the time. And studies like Wang et al. show negative impact of drift on downstream task performance. Similarly, research like Lezinski et al. show instability in word embeddings and its adverse effect where word embedding algorithm exhibit very high sensitivity to its training data. Even if uh, there is a change, minor change in the training data, uh, uh, even if there is a minor change in the training data, it uh, changes the representation a lot. However, there is currently no existing method that provides a way to learn the dynamics of drift and update word embedding consistently over the time. Eventually, a consistent word embedding is required that is updated with the latest data distribution and performs superior in downstream NLP applications. So, but the challenge is in situation of temporal drift, the existing data distribution, uh, the existing data from the new distribution is not sufficient and these word embedding models require huge amount of data for training and retraining or updating the embedding is not practical due to the scarcity of data of data from the shifted distribution and it may be too late for many downstream applications so if we even if we talk about fine tuning it has its own drawbacks it has been mentioned in the uh, study of lezinski et al as per the study if we train embeddings after just a adding 1% of additional data, then it can disagree on 15% of prediction on a sentiment analysis task. We introduced Transdrift and a uh, novel transformer based forecasting model for word embeddings. It learns the drift pattern and, and uh, anticipate the adjusted word embedding in accordance with the data drift by integrating the old embedding and the evolving dynamics of drift. As shown in figure 8, the model takes word embedding ET trained on old data distribution and it can also take uh, word embedding ET plus 1 if let's say if we have some small chunk of data from the latest shifted distribution then we can train a small word embedding ET plus 1 to give our overall architecture a uh, context of the latest distribution and the subsequently the model will try to predict word embedding ET plus 1 which represents the word embeddings aligned with the new data distribution. 
so how are we doing this so for training we we have used transformer architecture as transformer have been a powerful architecture in modeling complex interactions so we will leverage its ability to capture the dynamics of drift in word embedding so training during training we have data from both old and new distribution so we will train embeddings on both this distribution and call et the embedding trained on the old distribution and et plus 1 are the embeddings trained on the shifted distribution then we will train our transdrift architecture by minimizing the uh, uh, cosine loss between uh, the gold et plus 1 and the embedding predicted by the model we can as mentioned earlier we can also provide uh, et plus 1 small trained on the uh, small data shift from the shifted distribution to provide the model an additional context we all have also added a layer of MLB on top of transformer to make the entire model more expressive. By using transformer, the prediction of each word can see the prediction of uh, word embeddings of all other words via the attention mechanism. This allows our model to learn complex interaction of drift, complex dynamics of embedding drift, helping the model to make a better prediction. At the inference time, we will freeze the weights of the, our transformer and MLP layer. We just need to pass embedding trained on the old data distribution that is ET. Our model will predict <coughs> embedding from the latest dates. Uh, our, our model will try to predict embeddings which are closer to the uh, embeddings which are trained on the new data distribution that is ET plus 1. If we have some data from new, distri new distribution similar to the training process, we will train the embedding ET plus ones on those uh, data from the new distribution and pass it as an additional context. Due to the absence of existing solution for this problem, we introduced few baselines. The first one is no drift. Here the assumption is that uh, data will not undergo any kind of drift. So the new embedding ET plus one will be same as the old embedding ET. And the second uh, baseline is additive drift. As proposed by Stoy and Gervich, uh, drift can be modeled by just adding a constant uh, vector to all the words in the vocabulary. So the new embedding ET plus 1 will be uh, the old embedding ET plus the constant vector delta. Uh, for our experiments, we have used three data sets. The first one is a synthetic data set. Uh, for generating this data set, we just uh, created a random sparse graph where each node of the graph represent a word in the vocabulary. Then we assign a random edge weights which represents the transition probability from one node to another. For generating data at any timestamp t, we perform a random walk and collect all the words that was in the path. And to introduce a drift in the data, we just modified the edge weights which will basically change the transition transition probability and and we will perform these steps uh, again to uh, generate uh, data at timestamp t plus 1 the second data set we have used is uh, popularly used yelp academic data set and uh, the third one is amazon customer review data set for uh, yelp academic data set we have used businesses reviews user data categories and for amazon uh, customer review data set, we have used books, electronics, kitchen, DVD categories. For evaluating our model, we have calculated cosine similarity between the ground embedding, uh, ground truth embedding, which is basically trained on the latest complete uh, data of the latest distribution, and the embedding predicted by our transdrift model and other baseline models. We, we observe that uh, embedding predicted by our transdrift model are very are the closest to the ground truth embedding. As shown in the figure 2, we can see a significant difference in similarity if we compare all three models. If we can see the highest difference in case of Amazon data set where no drift and additive drift have cosine similarity nearly zero with the ground truth as the data set is uh, comparatively more complex than the other two data sets. As mentioned earlier, if we have some uh, small data from the shifted distribution, we don't want to waste that data and want to learn some insight from that data set. So we will train this uh, addition, uh, ET plus 1 small, which is embedding trained on this small uh, data from the shifted distribution and provide uh, to the model. In this uh, experiment, what we have done in the figure 3, you can see 
we trained this ET plus one small trained on 30% and 20% of uh, data from the shifted distribution and pass it to our uh, model. And, and the third 0% case if we don't pass any uh, ET plus one small and we can see the improvement in performance if we show the model uh, some distribution from uh, the latest uh, some data from the latest distribution and some embedding train on those distribution then it can perform fairly better than the case where we don't have any data from the shifted distribution we perform another experiment to check the quality of word embeddings of uh, predicted by these three model so for this uh, in the figure 14 you can see a list of few words so we calculated 30 nearest neighbor using the predicted embedding using uh, using all three models and the and then we counted the number of common nearest neighbor if we use ground truth embedding instead of uh, predicted embedding so in this case also transref model gives the highest number of common nearest neighbor alignment between the predicted embedding and the ground truth embeddings basically the end goal is to perform better in downstream uh, NLP application so for this we trained uh, downstream classifiers by using the embedding predicted by all three models we trained a sentiment classifier for Amazon customer review data set and a multi-class classifier which has five classes for real academic data set so in this also the embedding which were predicted by the transdrift model and used for the downstream tasks performed uh, better than the no drift and additive drift case uh, across the data set in, dif in both uh, sentiment classifier and the multi-class classifier. So basically uh, what we have done is we introduce a framework which can uh, track drift in word embedding and predict the updated word embeddings if we have a scarcity of data from the shifted distribution. We demonstrated how uh, effective our method is as compared to other baseline through our experiments. Our model can uh, utilize some additional data if we have from the shifted distribution to enhance its, its prediction performance. We also showed significant performance difference when it comes to downstream application as compared to other methods. So one of our future work uh, we are think like we are investigating is uh, multi-step word embedding prediction. So, so the all the experiments right now we have done are uh, based on only two timestamps t and t plus one. So we can further uh, take it to t to t plus one to t plus two and uh, perform a multi-step uh, embedding prediction. Thank you. Mm -hmm.